Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're going to deal with a subject and a word which is really a trade word for us in the church. And it's that little troublesome word, sin. What is sin? Is it doing wrong things, doing bad things? Is that sin? Is it thinking or saying wrong things? Well, it's all of those. It's also just being who we are. Sin is, an, is a condition that we inherit because we are human beings. That's one way of putting it. Sin is not that we are bad people, and sinning is not done because we are bad people. It's just because we are people, and all people have both good and bad in them. Sometimes we do good things, sometimes we don't. So this sin, another way of putting it, is something that separates us from God our Father. He is holy and righteous. He is right, in a right state, in a right situation. He is correct, he is honest, and he is true, and he is love. And we are those things at times, but sometimes our human nature gets the better of us, and we don't behave like that. Anyway, that wasn't even what I was going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about is here in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God made, oh, God made him who had no sin... To be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Now you can see why I explained a bit before we read it, because it's not easy to understand, is it? God made him, our Father in heaven made him, Jesus. God made him who had no sin. Jesus was sinless, because he was of God. He made him who had no sin to be sin for us. Another way we put that sometimes is that Jesus took the sin of the world upon himself. He was both God, holy and righteous, and man, sinful, capable of being full of sin. So he said to his Father in heaven, put all their sin upon me and I will take it to the cross on their behalf. He who had no sin, he was made for us so that he, had, he took our sin upon himself. It goes on to say, so that in him we may become the righteousness of God. So that in him, that is in Jesus and through our relationship with him and partaking of what he gives us, that redemption from sin because he has taken it upon himself, we might become something. Something will happen because of what Jesus does with this taking upon himself the separation of us from God. He closes that separation by standing in the middle as the bridge between us and God. Therefore, we can become something. We can become the righteousness of God. So all of the holiness and righteousness and love and grace and peace that God our Father has can be ours, can come to us. We can appropriate it in our lives and use it to, our, to the benefit of humankind. We can do all of that because of what Jesus has done for us. That again is the gospel in a nutshell. But of course it's a huge theological concept. It's difficult to grasp just from these few words. That's why there's a whole Bible of other stuff for us to refer to so that we might understand it better. Jesus became human to live amongst us, to take upon himself our sin so that we might be free to be sinless and righteous before God. Amen to that. See you soon.